That's all right. Now, let me ask. Hello, voice. <laughs> it can't be worse than last week. All right. Did you see the Packers-Bears game Monday night? Well, certainly the quarterback and the grasp rule is a good rule designed to protect the quarterback. But come on, give us a break. Sometimes the rule is taken a little too far. For example, let's go to the videotape. Monday night's Bears-Packers game. Here we go. Packers ball near their own end zone. Packer quarterback Randy Wright back to pass. Seemingly gets away from the Bears defensive tackle Steve McMichael. But no! The referee rules Wright was in the grasp of McMichael and it's a safety. Now watch it again. Here's Wright. There's McMichael. Does he get away or what? Come on! What is this? Touch football? Protect the quarterback, certainly. But don't pamper the quarterback. And you think you're too small to play football? Well, hold on. Time out, folks. Here now is the smallest Division I college football player in the country today. Let's go to the videotape and look at number 81, Tyrone Thurman of Texas Tech. Here he is returning a punt. Thurman, 19-year-old sophomore, is 5'3", 130 pounds. There he is. He doesn't just run back kicks. He is also the starting wide receiver for Texas Tech. By the way, Tyrone's father is 6'1", and his mother was 4'11". And on the other side of the fence, the biggest college football player in the country, 6'8", 320-pound offensive tackle, Marshall Land of Texas A&M. Land, by the way, was the president of the student body at Sacramento State, or perhaps he was the student body. And what a week of pitching by the National League Western Division champion Houston Astros. Yesterday, of course, Mike Scott is no hitter. The night before, Nolan Ryan, one hitter for eight innings, struck out 12. And the night before that, lefty Jim Deshays striking out a major league record, eight batters to start a game. In case you missed that and never done before in the history of baseball, let's go to the videotape. Tuesday night's Astros-Dodgers game. You count them. Deshays facing the first eight Dodger batters, Steve Sack. Here is Reggie Williams, Enos Cabell, the third batter. Then Pedro Guerrero, Alex Trevino, Hamilton, Anderson, Gonzalez. You got it. Eight straight guys. The string was broken by pinch hitter Larry C. who popped out on a two-strike pitch. All right, let's go to the videotape for the plays of the week. Here we go. First of all, the worst off-balance swing of the week last night, Darnell Coles of the Tigers. The best catch of the week by a third baseman going for a foul ball in the dugout. Denny Walling of the Astros. The best two plays in one game by a third baseman. Howard Johnson of the Mets. There's the first one. Then, three innings later, Howard Johnson again turns this one into a double play. The wild pitch of the week. Rod Scurry of the Yankees. Nice throw, Rod. The best reaction after striking out, Mike Laga of the Cardinals. <laughs> the worst move by a batter, Dave Winfield, who hits Oriole catcher John Stafaro on the head. <coughs> Excuse me, the worst move by a ballpark usher, accidentally putting a chair in front of Darnell Cole. The loosest <laughs> player of the week, Gary Carter of the National East Division Mets. The best catch by an NFL official, Ken O'Brien, Throws the back judge, Jim Poole. Go for it, Jim. And Faith Daniels was at the game. Do it, Faith. The plays of the week. Till next Friday, this is Warner Wolf. You certainly get around, Faith. I do get around, thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of your voice. See you next right, Friday. You. It's 19.